Good morning, everybody. This is Mrs. Avera here, principal of Joseph Case Junior High School, coming to you from the woods behind my house here in Swansea with Backyard Enrichment Video number 17. Yesterday was a pretty nice day. Spent some good time out in the yard yesterday afternoon. And uh, Wednesdays are always a little special at my house. They have been for the last 20 years because Wednesday night is Survivor Night. We start our video today, as we do with all of our videos, with an appreciation shout-out. And, and last night's Survivor episode uh, made me think of Mr. Jose. Mr. Jose is a 6th grade enrichment math teacher, someone who's very helpful to us at our school, participates in everything, goes on our Washington trip every single year. And he is one of my Survivor buddies, along with uh, Mrs. Reese and Principal Brian McCann and people we uh, have been discussing Survivor with for a lot of years. So here's to you, Mr. Jose, always making things fun for his kids, always a student favorite at our school. Uh, we appreciate you very much. Yesterday afternoon, uh, we got out in the yard after the work was done. We had some basketball. Again, we had some wiffle ball. We played yet another bocce game. And Mrs. Rivera had a real good day at bocce and was victorious in yesterday's bocce game. Uh, after dinner, we went back to the card table. We had a game of hearts. And Jake is on a card playing role. Jake came up victorious there in the hearts game after dinner. Um, a little bit later on yesterday afternoon, I took a trip out to the woods behind my house here. Um, there's some, some old trees, some dead trees and things that had fallen. And some work needs to be done to clear this area up and make it look a little bit nicer. While I was doing that, I came across some very interesting little plants on the ground here and I thought to myself oh boy I know what that is and I think that that would make a fantastic subject for today's backyard enrichment video anybody who spent any time in the woods has seen these little gems and uh, today we will figure out what they are where they come from and what their significance is here on the forest floor so let's take a look at that this is Princess Pine like a podium obscurum, another common forest understory plant in Massachusetts forests. Also called flat branch tree club moss or ground pine, princess pine is a North American species of club moss. The names club moss and ground pine, however, confuse this plant in the plant world, being neither moss nor a low growing conifer. They are instead more closely related to horsetails and ferns. Princess pines do, however, have the appearance of tiny, thickly branched pine trees with oversized cones or clubs. Historically, princess pines were harvested to make Christmas wreaths and other decorations due to the fact that they remain green all winter. It is native to the eastern United States and southeastern Canada from Georgia to Minnesota to Nova Scotia. It grows in the understory of temperate coniferous and deciduous forests. Princess pines produce two types of above ground structures, green scale-like leaves, each with a single unbranched vein that cover most of the aerial shoots, and yellow to tan sporophylls, the clubs that contain the plant's reproductive spores. Like ferns and mushrooms, they reproduce by giving off the spores, which the wind carries to different spots in the woods. It can take several years for those spores to establish themselves as plants. Between one and 12 of these structures can be produced from a single individual. These sporophylls are produced in late summer and mature in the fall, turning brown and releasing a golden dust of tiny spores. Last year's empty sporophylls remain on many of the princess pines in the area. Interestingly, although its above ground pots are rarely more than six inches tall, the majority of the plant is actually underground in the form of a subterranean rhizome. Historically, princess pine has been harvested from the wild for use as Christmas greens for wreaths. The harvest of this plant has caused it to become threatened in several areas, leading Indiana and New York to declare it, to declare it protected by state law. Princess pine is widespread in Massachusetts. However, picking this plant is discouraged, as often picking one green shoot can kill the entire plant. Further spores do not develop into plants quickly. The oil-laden spores, when dried and lit, can ignite and spark, which is why early photographers, before they had flash bulbs, used to use trays of club moss spores to light their shots. They were also used in magic acts and theatrical extravaganzas. When I taught chemistry at the high school, we used to have a can of lycopodium powder, and we used it for some pretty spectacular demonstrations. 
that's our backyard enrichment video for today hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned a little something the weather will be nice today a little bit cool but sunny i think you can get outside and enjoy it while social distancing if you have a chance and you can take a walk in the woods you might see this princess pine around your house i have a great thursday everybody i hope everyone remains well please remember we're all in this together and as we say every day we are all cardinals thank you have a fantastic day